Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video! It's been a long time coming now, but we can finally do it. It's a 3DS connected to a Mac computer. We couldn't do this before with the Katsukiti Nisei Toro uh, capture card, but now you can. So as long as you have the hardware modification, this is not something you can do um, with just a piece of software. As long as you've modified your Nintendo 3DS or new Nintendo 3DS to have the uh, hardware modification that plugs a USB cable into your Mac, you can now run um, 3DS software on your um, on your Mac screen, and you don't need anything. You don't need to be plugged into power. You don't need to have a capture card. Um, I mean, obviously, if you want to make video game recordings, you'll need a capture card. But if you just happen to have your Mac laptop uh, and your 3DS, and you want to play on a larger screen when you're you know off on the go, it is now possible because Cat's Kitty has finally made um, a piece of software to run on on the Mac. Um, you couldn't do this before. It was only Windows. Um, the software just it just wasn't designed to run on a Mac until um, earlier this month. We finally got the software now. There are a few quirks, however. Um, I've got a Retina MacBook Pro over here, and um, there are a few quirks to making it run in full screen. So I'll show you how that works. But as you can see on a MacBook Air, there's no problem um, because it's <laughs> because it doesn't have a Retina screen. Um, and it's great. There is no sound coming out of the new Nintendo 3DS. You will have to record sound normally, uh, as you would normally from the bottom here, where the headphone jack is. There was an ex uh, what do you say, an experimental feature um, in the PC version of the software where you could listen to the sound through the computer but it depended on how fast your computer was, and the USB 2 connection, sadly it's not USB 3 yet, the USB 2 connection didn't really have enough bandwidth to get video and sound, so it was kind of experimental. So you'll still, um, when I'm gonna make video game re recordings, uh, if I do it through the Mac, I'll still need to use uh, this, this headphone jack, and I usually record to, um, I don't have the device to hand here, but I usually have it, um, the sound running into an MP3 recorder, and then I do the video recording on, on a video capture card, a standalone video capture card. So I'm gonna um, turn around, I'm gonna show you what it's like to plug it all in, where you get the software, and show you how to, uh, how to set it all up, just so that you can see um, it does run, and it runs smoothly, and there's absolutely no problem with it. Let's, uh, let's get stuck in. Alright, the first thing you want to do is make sure your computers are all set up, so I have a MacBook Air set up here, um, I've got it plugged into the screen just so you can see, and I've already connected my new Nintendo 3DS with hardware modification plugged in, remember you can't do this unless you have the hardware mod done already on your new Nintendo 3DS. If you have the mod, plug the USB cable into your um, MacBook or Mac computer, and then just navigate to one of two different websites. There's 3dscapture.jp, which is what I'm on here now, and a second page which is in English uh, called Fun Fun Video Capture, and it's at video videogamecapture.blogspot.jp. This is the uh, English blog, which means that software sometimes comes out a bit later, but at least um, it's you know easy to read the website. And you can see there are two different links for the website here. Um, there's for the new Nintendo 3DS and for the original 3DS. So depending on which hardware modification you have, and they are different, um, make sure you download the correct software. Now, it says we will develop a viewer software for the PS Vita um, in the near future, and fortunately, if you go to the Japanese website, which is 3DSCapture.jp, um, if you actually just scroll down here, you can see that the software is already available um, on the PS Vita, uh, on the Japanese site. Anyway, so make sure that you've got downloaded um, the actual, the correct software that you need. Let's go over to your desktop. So once you've clicked on the correct link, actually I'll just show you quickly, um, if you just scroll even further down, this is where the new Nintendo 3DS and 3DS software is as well. But remember, this is the Japanese site, so the software may, you know, be in Japanese. Go back to your desktop and then navigate to wherever you downloaded the file. So I've got the new 3DS software here downloaded to my desktop. And it really is just a case of double clicking on this icon and it should open up immediately. Now if you double click in the middle of the software here on the screen, you'll see that it automatically goes full screen. Um, actually, this is my favorite setting. I usually have it in a 66-33% split, but if you press the number keys, number one, two, three, four, you can see that there are various different options that let you have it. Um, this is like a setup just for DS, original DS games. Um, you can also have it so there's a little bar in the middle. This just makes it easier if you're making uh, YouTube videos and you don't want to do a lot of cutting and moving files around. 
uh, files, you know, screens, you don't want to move the screens around to the right place. Or maybe you only want to record the top screen and then you can use this, get, I <laughs> say, the best resolution. I mean, you're really just enlarging a very low resolution image anyway, so you don't need to record in full screen like that. So, really the most standard one, and probably the best quality, is to record like this. Personally, I actually like to record pressing Q. Q, W, and E will set your screen in 6633, 7525, or side-by-side. Side. And I usually leave it in Q just so that I can see on my screen what I'm playing. It's just easier for me to monitor my progress on a large screen, uh, and actually still be able to see both the bottom screen and the top screen of my new Nintendo 3DS. So that's about as simple as it gets, really. I mean, there really isn't anything else you need to set up, I don't think, for um, a, normal, a normal Mac screen. However, on my Retina MacBook Pro, I have had issues with the screen being the wrong size. That might be rectified um, in a future software update, but for now, I'll just show you what it's like to run uh, on a MacBook Retina screen, because um, it is a little bit strange, so just uh, I'll just rejig these cables and then get back to you in a second. All right, I've had to go handheld, but I can show you that this is my Retina MacBook Pro. It is running in the Retina, um, you know, best for Retina screen resolution right now, and I've plugged in with the USB to the new Nintendo 3DS. So basically, I should be able to run my software here like so. And it will run the software and it looks like it's in full screen, but then when you actually double tap on it to go full screen, it will only go into the corner. Um, and then from then on, it will just stay in that resolution. There's no way to get it to actually go full screen. Even pressing all these different options, it won't actually change it, uh, the resolution. And I've tried to go through the settings and I wasn't able to fix anything there as well. So, uh, the only way that I did try to find uh, that works, and I did try messing around with these different options here, you know, um, oh, it's gone now, but basically these scaled resolutions change between default, more space, larger text, and it, none of them really fixed it. So the only way I found that does work is to plug it into my HDMI cable, uh, into my HDTV. So I've just got the HDMI cable here. I'm just going to plug this into the cable on my MacBook Pro Retina screen. And it will go to um, optimize for built-in retina display. That will still not work. But if I plug into uh, this one, which says optimize for my TV that I've plugged in, it will change to a new resolution. It's 1366 by 768, or you know whatever it is the resolution is of your screen on your TV. And then when you double click on now. Uh, it will open up in full screen. So it looks like on a Retina MacBook Pro, and I'm not sure about all MacBook Pros, you will actually have to be plugged into a TV, uh, which might defeat the purpose a little bit, um, in order to get it to run full screen for your new Nintendo 3DS on a Mac. However, um, uh, I think, you know, a system software update, uh, sorry, a um, software update for the viewer software may well get released in the future and fix this problem. For now, uh, if you've got a retina screen like mine, it looks like you may have to uh, be plugged into a TV. If you have a different, if you have different mileage, do let me know um, in the comments section and I will update the video. But for now, on this, ret on this uh, MacBook Air, which is not retina screen, it's fine, runs full screen. On a retina screen, you may need to plug into a TV. Let me know about your mileage. All right, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. It's easy to plug your new Nintendo 3DS or 3DS into your Mac. OS X product uh, and be able to play on your laptop or on your Mac now. Um, I don't have a, a desktop na Mac to uh, test this out on, but it does work on my MacBook Air. If you have a Retina MacBook Pro like mine back there, um, do keep in mind that you need to be plugged into a TV or some device to make it run full screen, but I'll probably send an email to Cat's Kitty, let them know, and hopefully that will be solved in the future. But for now, if you've got a product like this laptop, it's easy, you can just go on holiday, just bring nothing but this, this, and a USB cable, and you should be able to play and enjoy large full screen, uh, well, 11 inch full screen, um, new Nintendo 3DS uh, gaming on the go. So do enjoy that. Um, I might make a video for the PS Vita version as well. It's probably going to be a very similar situation. That's all there is to it. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share links and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. She's got magnets on her feet. First new Nintendo 3DS game. Final Fantasy XV. Ah! Someone pick up the phone. How about you, Cloud? Shopping time! So I let her go in front of me, and she ran into the shop and she took the only copy of this, and I thought, no! 
Here it comes. Ah! It's like the yes. anime, but better. It doesn't say what this is. It just, it just, it's just a piece of plastic. I, I really think, I think, I think maybe it, it is a frisbee. 